Um, my name is Ashton Atz. I'm an illustrator and painter. I'm 23 years old and I tend to create quite joyful, like colourful works um, that often represent like the LGBT community, but often other communities as well. Um, and the design that I'm going to be working on today, um, as you can see, is like a raincoat. Um, and I like took inspiration from the song um, It's Raining Men by the Weather Girls. Um, and I've changed it so that it's called like this, the, the design is actually called It's Raining Them. So um, the characters that I'm going to have on the coat are supposed to be like, like non-binary or like genderqueer characters, um, gender diverse characters. Um, and then I've taken like some of the like symbols for like um, non-binary and genderqueer identities. Um, and I've got like this rainbow at the bottom. So that's just kind of like tying all in and obviously the umbrella as well. So I've just taken like really well-known symbols and like imagery from like the LGBT community and like put it all together. Having these like really wonderful, like bright, vibrant um, neon colors. It's, it's nice to have like everything accentuated with, with the outline. Basically, I'm going to have like a sort of like almost wallpaper, like collage effect of falling characters as if they're like raining down from the sky, like falling down from the sky and also have some pattern work with like lightning bolts and like other imagery from like the LGBT communities. So the front of the coat was basically just about illustrating what's on the back. So taking a uh, visual element such as the characters, um, the raindrops, the trans flag umbrella, the lightning bolts, things that we usually associate with like weather um, and like stormy like rainy days um, and then having these like characters who are all supposed to be like non-binary or gender diverse characters having them falling out of the sky um, and I think you know I really did enjoy working with these pens and like the range of colors because they're not the sort of color palette that I'd usually work with um, in the sense that I always work with vibrant bold colors but never really like neon or fluorescent colors um, so that was interesting in the way that I would approach it and thinking how I'm going to use these materials um, on the surface um, and how my characters are going to interact with the environment with like the buttons and stuff.